Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video on my channel. This time I'm going to be showing you guys how to increase or decrease or even delete loot on your DayZ uh, console server. Uh, it's going to be very simple. Uh, all you have to do is go to the web interface of the server. Uh, down on the left side you can see something called the file browser which is where all the coding uh, is done. Of course, uh, Daisy missions will. So, if you're playing on the Chernoris uh, map, you should go with the Daisy offline Chernoris Plus. But if you're playing on Livonia, which is my case, uh, go with Daisy offline Enoch. Now, in here, we need the DB, which is the database file. In the database file, you need the types.xml file. Uh, now, the way I do this, a lot of modders and coders might disagree with, but I have a good reason. Uh, what a lot of people will tell you is to download the types XML first, make a backup, and whatnot. But the way I do it, there is no room for error. 100%, you will not mess it up. Okay? And I'll show you guys why. Now, all you have to do is control A to highlight the entire file, copy it, go on to, now this is very important, the Code Beautify website. It's what I use to edit and validate my code. I don't use the Notepad++, even though a lot of people use it, and, and it is a good app, but I just rather do it this way. It's a lot easier for me. Now, paste the types XML file onto the code beautify which I will leave a link down in the description below um, just paste it in there um, so what, what, what's really good about this website it, that it will tell you if you've messed up in real time for example let's do something wrong no that was not wrong Okay, see? Right there. XML is not valid. Now, to undo it, just do Control z um, So it's, it's really that simple. Uh, sometimes the end tags, if you're adding something, you might miss one. It'll literally tell you where the problem is. See? Invalid tag. The closing tag type is ex expected in place of types. Uh, it's really simple. It's really useful. It's it's what I use to do all of my coding. Now, let's get to the point of increasing or decreasing or deleting loot. So it's a fairly big file. Obviously, you're not going to go through everything one by one. It's almost eighteen thousand lines. So just do Control F, which will pull up this search bar, and search for let's say the M4A one. This is the M4A one right here. Now, the nominal for the M4A one will is basically how many locations will have the M4A one at one given time. Uh, I've set it to 70. Let's, for example, increase that to, say, 90. The lifetime is how long it'll stay on the ground before it disappears. The value is in seconds. I won't suggest, I, I, I don't honestly suggest messing with this unless you want it to disappear quicker. The restock is how quickly the server will restock with M4s. This is again in seconds. The min, which is a minimum of the nominal. I like to keep it close to my nominal to make sure I get the correct value that I'm after. The quant min and the quant max are not for weapons. Because this is for something that, uh, for example, the multivitamin bottle, which can either be found full or, say, only 20 or 15 uh, pills. Uh, I'll get to that later in a second. The cost and the flags is something you don't have to worry about at all. The category being weapon, don't change that because it is a weapon. The usage and the value is something you can mess with. For example, if you want the M4A one, 
to spawn in a police station, right? Just go to something that actually does spawn in the police station, grab its usage, copy. This is the shotgun, the 133. And go back to the M4A1 and just do enter paste. Now you're likely to find the M4A1s in police stations. Now let's get to the quant min and the quant max. Uh, the multivitamin bottles or anything, for example, a mag, tetracillin pills that can be either found full or half will have the quant min. Uh, so to make sure the vitamin bottle spawns full at all times, all you have to do is give it quant min of a 100 and quant max of 100 as well. And just to show you guys, the mags do have the same thing going on. See the mag AK-74. Uh, uh, let's do that. 100 quant min, 100 quant max. Now, say you want to get rid of something. You don't want it on your server. For example, the road flare. Now, there is two ways to do this. You can either set the nominal to zero. That'll tell the server to not give this type a location at all. But uh, this is good for, say, if you're patient. But if you're not, and you just want to completely get rid of it right now, just delete the entire type like that and you're good now to upload this back into your server all you have to do is control a again paste on here save changes in my case I'm not going to save changes because I don't want my m to spawn in police stations but just save changes and hit restart and all of that should be done Thank you guys for watching the video. Please like and subscribe for more simple and easy coding videos to come.